Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Okay, something a bit different today. Um, inspired by my daughter. Uh, she said that maybe I should do a New Year's resolution um, readings. And I was already thinking about doing the individual star signs. So I've got Santa's hat. I normally live in this hat from the 1st of December. But uh, I've got like in there all the 12 star signs. <laughs> so... I'm going to do a New Year's resolution for you um, individually as a star sign. Let's put these back in because I'm going to attach this intro to um, all of them so I don't have to keep doing this and you kind of know what's going on. So I will um, pull out a star sign. I, we should have a little reading, see how it goes. We're looking at moving into 2020 solution orientated so let's have a look at these uh, resolutions and um, see let's put you on the right track okay some really healthy habits to adopt okay um, starting now if you like and going on obviously into the new year okay guys um, exciting I will catch up with you soon okay let's have a look and see who is going to be fourth out of Santa's hat for their new year's resolution. Okay, let's have a look then. Ooh, where are you running away to? Maybe this one doesn't want their reading done. It's Gemini. Okay, let's have a look, have a look at what the lovers are up to. Gemini. Let's have a look. Okay, we're going to do a New Year's resolution reading, what you need to maybe focus on, um, a solution maybe to a problem that you might have so that we go into 2020 with a, maybe with our own individual kind of uh, mission to resolve. Okay, let's have a look. Doesn't want me to see. What are we keeping undercover? Maybe we're a bit secretive, Gemini. Maybe. <laughs> uh, maybe secretive about how passionate you are. It's like you just, every time you want to express your passion, old behaviour comes back and you end up running away. Because it's hard for you to speak the truth. It's like you close off when it comes to love or the lovers. Okay, let's get one more. Running away from love here. Stop running away from love. Okay, there's a fear here of being hurt. There could have been past hurts. It could be actually about addressing past pain, which makes you then run away from it. It's like you so want it and then it's just... Every time you go for it, you end up going in the opposite direction. It's time to make a decision... Okay, so very unsure here about which cup to pick. You're not sure if it's going to be a nasty cup, if it's going to be a good cup. You're not sure about the unknown. You're not sure about any snakes, whether you can even be victorious. Whew, there's a lot going on here, Gemini. Two heads there, two... The twins. We have this sneaky behaviour here that needs to be cut out. Okay. So this is about you working on being the best at being you. In comes the passion. You do have the passion within you. You have the you have the drive. You have the adventurous side, but you run away from it, from allowing your your free spirit to be free. It's like every time it's like, okay, we won't deal with this and we'll cover up. And it's all about speaking the truth. You need to cut out this behaviour because the Queen of Swords is about cutting out things that no longer serve you. So you need to cut this out. And uh, speak about these past events that have hurt you. It's time to be vulnerable. Gemini. Okay, let's have a look and see what the unicorns would like to say. It must be love, love, love. And you think it's madness and it's love. 
Okay, let's have a look how we're going to go into 2020 then. You can start working on this ASAP. <laughs> it needs to be cut out. Um, this is inner work you need to do to stop running. Share. When you share, everyone feels happy. There's two of them on here. He's trying to get close. She's up on the horse. Unicorn, sorry. So she does have her inspirations, her passion. She has flowers. It's like he's... <laughs> okay, I feel like he's trying to avoid her. And it's like, he's trying, but maybe he's trying to like love the things that she loves. So he is wanting to help her here. This is about allowing... Allowing yourself to share your heart with another. So let's look at Cheryl. Sharing the gain and the pain. If you'd like to make new friends, start by sharing with them. You can do this in many ways, such as helping someone with their work or giving them some food. You can also share your feelings with a person and they'll also share their feelings with you. Sharing feelings often makes your friendships closer. It's also a good idea to share things with others. Do you have anything in your closet that you never use? If it's okay with your family, why not give it away to someone who needs it? This will make you both feel happy. As you give away old things, you'll discover a secret. New things will come to you as if by magic it's true. You can also share when you're with a group of people, for example, let someone else talk while you listen, or work as a team to win a game. You can also let another person win in a game, as it's a nice way to share. It's also important to let other people give to you. In friendships, both people give to each other, so let your friends share with you. All you need to do is say thank you, and feel happy about how fun it is to share with your friends and family. Okay, so this part jumped out. For example, let someone else talk while you listen or work as a team to win a game. You can also let another person win a game. This is a nice way to share. There's definitely like this manipulation here. Getting the upper hand. It's just, um, okay. Got to cut that out. ASAP. We're going to get an affirmator. Impermanence. Life is always changing and I drift easily through those changes, good and bad. I said sharing the gain and the pain. As I drift through hard times, I can take comfort in knowing that I will leave them behind. And as I drift away from good times, I can take comfort in knowing that more will come my way. Impermanence is an equal opportunity, non-entity. It's perfect. Share. The good and the bad. Let me have a look into the Oracle of Shadows and Light. Trying to get away again. I'm catching my ears on the table, you know. <laughs> Ghost of the pumpkin patch. Count your blessings. I felt really drawn to get a um, postcard from Spirit. So I'm going to do that. I'm not doing it on every read, but if I'm drawn to do it, and I was, um, I felt like there was a message from heaven coming through. So we've got Ghost of the pumpkin patch. Count your blessing. blessings. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's have a look. About the ghost of the pumpkin patch, this adorable and forlorn little figure is almost transparent, so still and quiet that you may overlook her. 
thinking you have just seen a wisp of mist go trailing past. When really, all the time, this little ghost is silently standing before you, gently reminding you of something very important. That it soon will be time to harvest again, and the ghost of harvest, missed in the past, will come back to haunt you if you do not take your time and look around, right now, at all that is. She's not invisible, and she is always there. A reminder that the seasons turn, that the harvest must be brought in, and that those who stay with the earth a while are not always here to haunt you negatively. They are here to help you till their work is done. This little ghost loves her misty home, adores appearing to you when you have forgotten your blessings and your rights, and appears at, at exactly the right time in your life when you've nearly forgotten how lucky you are. The ghost of the pumpkin patch speaks, Something that is a blessing is being overlooked. It appears cloaked and seems almost invisible to you. You must stand in your field, that is to say your life, and look around you. You see all that has been given to you again and give thanks for it. You are forgetting how much you truly have and how much you will have again and again. My time is the harvest. It is now your time to bring in, or harvest, the joy and love of what you have so much of and share your abundance. The divination message. Something precious is all about you, but it has become so familiar that you can barely see it anymore. It is such a fixture in your life that familiarity has bred, if not contempt, a kind of blindness. The beautiful little girl ghost in the pumpkin patch asks you very gently to see the abundance all around you and to appreciate that while you are in physical form, there is so much you can enjoy. She wishes for you to harvest what is yours now, and to also take steps to call in any debts. These can be outstanding money issues associated with this card. And share the bounty. Do not let anyone cheat you, and know that you don't own a single thing in truth. It will all pass through your hands, but still... Ironically, these things you have earned through your hard work are worth protecting. They are not too small. They are not too ordinary. You have more material wealth than you think. So do please count your blessings every day. Wow. I picked up here the generosity of this character, this person. They have it so much within them. I believe they do do a lot of charitable work, but when it comes to actually um, seeing what's right in front of them, there's a fear. It's like they are such a giver. And um, I feel like they want to stay invisible. <laughs> but it's time for them to receive. That's beautiful. Let's get a um, Abraham Hicks well-being card. I bless and appreciate every religion. Somebody who does a lot of charity work, has the compassion, the love for the world. And the world wants to give back. I bless and appreciate every religion. There is something for everyone in this magnificent environment of wide diversity where we, as a people, can continue to take thoughts beyond that which it has been before. So this is somebody that very much does inspire others. It's like they, they don't mind doing it invisibly though. I feel that they don't really feel that they're worthy of... They're kind of cutting themselves off from their own abundance, their own love. Okay, so let's get a, um, there is something for everyone, and that's including you, Gemini. <laughs> there is something for everyone in this magnificent environment of wide diversity, where we as a people can continue to take thought beyond that which it has been before. So this most definitely is a person that inspires others. Clarity. So it's an uncertainty here, isn't it, about love. <laughs> and whether that's coming in 
feels like this person's such a giver, but they're not sure whether they're going to receive that back. Um, okay. Clarity. Angel wisdom reminds you that a busy, cluttered mind is a sick one, and a still, clear mind is a divine one. Allow the wisdom in your heart to radiate out and dissolve the chatter of your mind. Know that your angel has drawn this to your attention and is waiting to help you in your task. Sit quietly so that you can find the stillness within. Then you can shine a pure, clear light onto every area of your life. In the clarity of this light, the angels will reveal a new way of being. You will see things differently and be able to make decisions from strength and clarity. Okay, your affirmation is, my mind is quiet, still and clear. Just some chatter here, you see. It's clear the other side. It's just getting through all the chatter of the mind. <clears throat> and I want to say about asking yourself, why do you run away? Let's get a, um, a Sacred Destiny card, and then we'll end on the postcard from Spirit. I can just see here it's saying, it is my dominant intent to look for what I want to see. So it's like you want to see this for the world, but you need to start seeing it for yourself. Wonders. <clears throat> Like there's this massive crystal. I feel it's under under the sea. <laughs> that looks stunning on there. Okay, wonders. Last card in the book. Quartz crystal. Natural rock crystals, clear, amethyst, citrine, rose and smoky, were all revered in ancient times. Oh, okay. The, uh, I can't read this word. Oh, I do know it. The Aborigines. <laughs> the Aborigines of Australia called it Marban. M-A-B-A-N, which was the material through which their shamans and elders gained their magical powers. The Egyptians believed quartz had mystical healing abilities and would bury their dead with a piece of crystal on their forehead. Well, we're going to go over to the uh, postcard from Spirit in a moment. The Greeks and Romans believed crystals were solid ice that had been formed by the gods and thus had mystical powers. Even to present day, people believe that crystals can help manifest their intentions. Perhaps that is because of the um, piezoelectric qualities of quartz. Piezoelectric qualities of quartz. The reason why quartz can amplify radio signals. There are some places in the world where it's not uncommon to find crystals on the surface of the land. These are especially powerful because they have found you in their natural setting. So the sacred landscape wants you to know, just around the corner, exciting possibilities are waiting for you. Wonders will be abounding in your life. Sometimes they won't be apparent at first. Nevertheless, they are there. They're not invisible. Okay. The more you see them and embrace them, the more these possibilities will grow in magnitude. Celebrate and cherish even the smaller ones, no matter how tiny they may seem. Let go of expectations. Don't limit the way you think that wondrous events could appear in your life. Be open. If you believe, anything and everything is possible. Okay, let's get this postcard from Spirit. And... Um, there's your New Year's resolution reading. Okay. 
with love. There's a swan on there. Look at that beautiful swan. Okay. Dearest you, do you know how much we love you and want to help you? We are here for you and we hear you ask for guidance, but you must let go and let us help you. You don't have to do it all. You've done your part, now let us do ours. We would, you would, they already are. You would be awestruck if you knew how many strings were pulled through the matrix to give you what you need and desire. Spirit has a plan and when you sign up to be a co-creator, you need to remember to allow the partnership. It's not one-sided. Your desires and plans meet up with those of spirit. Remember though, spirit's timetable and ideas of how things will play out may be quite different from yours. Trust us, spirit's ideas are amazing. Now let go and let us do the magic. Pay attention to other areas in your, of your life and before you know it, a miracle will have taken place. We love you so much. That's an awesome message to end on. Okay. Have yourself a fantastic Christmas. And um, here's to a very abundant new year, 2020 to you. Um, you're such a giver that this isn't one-sided. You don't have to do it all. Uh, your reward's coming in. Okay. Okay. I will catch up with you soon. So take care. Much love. Bye for now.